said it best, Bill. I mean, these guys are not only catching shoot players here in this tournament, off to a blazing start. Baylor's Jared Butler is a 6'4 combo guard who does a lot of things well. He's a knockdown shooter off the catch and off the dribble and shows some true potential off movement. He's a talented passer who really improved over his college career and though the stats won't necessarily pop, he is a good decision maker. While it's compact, Butler has one of the more effective handles in the class and uses it to create advantages for himself and his team. Defensively, he's got a high IQ, consistently making great reads and rotations, playing passing lanes with the best of them, and staying solid on ball. While he may not have the ceiling as some other prospects, Butler is certainly primed to contribute right away, still at just 20 years old. Butler from guard look. That's deep. Butler again. Mitchell, he sealed off outside for three. Butler Swing. He's so unbelievable. Physical, quick, athletic. Defense that is sprinting down the court behind the play, and you're going to turn it over every time. Stop swirling that stuff around and come with us. Butler with a handle oh. and a big. scored just unbelievable good spacing right here is well coached man they're well coached hard to missing the front end of the one and one baylor today just one for ten certainly uh drake who's had a great year on pause right now because of the COVID 19. jared butler yes five to shoot butler five second chance points so they've done to nothing with all of those extra opportunities. Butler, answer. Biggest shot of the game so far has been fire through. Coming off the bench. Right? Without getting a whole lot out of McCormick because of the foul trouble. They're going five out right now. No chance. Butler, step back three. Butler, straight line drive, rebounds, nice oh, cut, oh, how oh, pretty oh, is that? Oh, Mitchell kick to the corner, Butler spins it up and in. Butler around likely. And another turnover by K-State. Here's the lead. effort from Damian Mitchell. And a step in, Butler takes it away. Butler all by himself. Make it uh, more difficult. I would move it to the gather that you have to be a stand. In the 13 minute mark in the first half, largest lead here for Baylor as they stretched it out at the end of the attention. Huh? It was out of practice. I think he always got his attention. <laughs> Just guessing. That's what they got to do. Butler with the Trenny Gillespie bought, gone for the Bears. He is now playing professionally. Play Baylor by five. Let's see what they do to try and get the. Screen this zone, pop the middle. Got the Big 12 logo. Floater for Butler is good. Steve Nash like. Butler weaves his way through traffic. That floater is good. Here's Butler. And they're going to have to guard yeah. that individual matchup. These guards are getting into the paint. Look at this. Look at the screen by the big. Another ball screen from Chamo Chachua. Jared Butler still has not registered a field goal attempt. Chachua tries to set the screen. Watch Freedom for three for Bunny. Butler back in with a couple of fouls. For Harvard out of there, 14 points. The alley oop that. Maybe not being as sharp defensively or offensively, taking quick shots. 
it is. It's a lob. And they've been turning it over, taking some questionable shots. Over the top. And now Butler can't overhelp with a nice dive by Jonathan. Two minutes to play. Yeah, I mean, that would be huge for him. Great pass right there. The free throw line. He's 12 of 14 from the line this season. And go uh, get a basket. Just a tremendous luxury for Scott Drew. Double up on Butler. We scheduled games again. Kansas is done with their conference games. Added a game against. You know they rebound the ball. They are a two-way team. It's clear. And out of the pack comes Jared Butler. They have four. He goes to the rim. Four. 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 The Butler floats it up. Butler comes away with it. Now the Bears have numbers. Butler lobs it up. Mark Clock inside 10. Frazier loses it. Nice little trap by Big Jonathan. Once again, stretches it out. Look at Colbert up there, set a ball screen. It's Kasumu's. Got away from the ball screen, a little cross along the foul line. Look at the go baseline. Look at the help. Damba. Curbello. And it's shot makers. Guys who can put that ball into the. Butler takes it. I say it by Hepa off the steal, but take right back. Reeves had it. This is Miller out of Peoria, Illinois. Off to a great start, 18 again. It's as hard to nitpick and find weaknesses in Jared Butler's game as anybody's in this class. He's really well-rounded and mistake-free, but he's just about 6'3", 6'4", which is solid size, but with the even wingspan, it'll probably keep him from being a true two-position defender. While he did display soft touch and craftiness as a finisher, his lack of explosion and length could be a factor for him going forward. And to further nitpick, he's not the most fluid or biggest space creator, nor does he have the most creative in-between game. The only thing that could really hold him back in terms of draft stock is his medical eval. He had a heart condition first come up at Alabama before being cleared to play his last three years at Baylor, until there were issues once again at the NBA Draft Combine. I'm really hoping everything gets squared away with him because he is certainly one of this year's best players. Butler's got it. He'll drive it. He'll score it. Butler, probing. There's no question uh, what he's done, especially the 343 projects in all of college basketball. Maybe the best of all time, really. Uh, absolutely. Think about it. Point. This is where they've had their problems. Timmy with a nice show. Offensively, letting Butler go to work. Look at this step back. Goodness. And this is the one. Mark Hughes going to be thinking about how to handle that ball screen. They can switch on some of that weave action. You'll wind up on multiple players in this game. Defensively, they did that time. There's Butler back again. Mark Vidal is such a tough rebounder. Butler. Butler, NBA range. Couple of ball screens on both sides of Miller. Rhymes way outside. He hits it. Sucks. Again driving in. Been so much attention. He's such a tough hard nosed player. Take the route of Georgetown. Two separate leagues. Really, really amazing. Yeah, first team All Big South twice.
getting on the scoreboard is a big deal for the Jazz. Conley. In Memphis. Conley in the lane. Tuck release. Got it. Leonard, nine rebounds and five assists. Corey Daniels is in. Conley against Parker. Puts it in. This is learning. You cannot get your way to the rim against the athletes in this league like you should. If it weren't for the newfound medical information, I'd say Jared Butler was among the absolute safest bets in this class. Medicals aside, I think Butler helps every last team in the league win. You need someone who can run pick and rolls, knock down big shots, create for himself, and hold his own defensively, Jared Butler is your guy. And if the playoffs ever show us anything, that package right there is super valuable. He graduated college at just 20 years old, has all the intangibles by all accounts, and with all that in mind, he's someone who would be worthy of a pick as high as the late teens.